Joe waits on a payoff pitch. Here it comes. Swinging a fly ball in the left. Serrano going back. Joe's there, and he makes the catch for the out. Collin delivers an 0-1. Swung on, chopped toward third. Wernis charges, gloves in fair ground, and throws Chenea out at first. Nola's ready to bring a 1-0. The right-hander kicks and deals. It's grounded up the middle, and that's a base hit for Egan. Clark Egan with his fourth hit of the tournament. Now he works to Brian Anderson. Swing and a line drive base hit in the left field. They're going to hold the runner at third with two outs. Anderson's trying to go to second, and the ball goes into center field. It's a bad throw, and the run's going to score from third. We've seen Nola. This is our second time this year. We faced him once last year, and we saw him on Sunday as a freshman when he pitched on Sunday, and he was awfully good. So we knew what we were in for. We knew that we were we, we needed to split a gap. We needed to score three or four runs, uh, and we kind of knew that he would settle in because that's what he does. If you get a chance to get him, you got to get him right out of the chute. Those two strikes. Here it is. Swung on, sky toward center. Benintendi comes in. Andrews there. That's the second out. The pitch, a quick glance of the runner at second base. Curveball lined up the middle. That's a base hit. They're going to wave home the runner. Benintendi's throw to the plate is offline, deflected by Fisher. It rolls away, and that allows Chenea to go to second base. You know, what LSU did to us today is they scored with two outs. I think all seven of their runs were scored with two outs. We just couldn't get the third out. And, uh, you know, we're throwing guys out there that, you know, haven't pitched on the weekend, hardly any, if any, midweek type guys, uh, bullpen guys. And, you know, we hung in there, but uh, it wasn't pretty. Tying run in the second, two lead runs in the third. The pitch swung on and missed. Simpson gets the strike. Swing a little tap around in front of the plate. Wernish charges, gloves, throws on the move, and they get hail at first base. Nola goes to work, first one's coming, swinging a line drive into right field, and that's down for a base hit. First hit for the Hawks since the opening inning. Stretch, here it comes, curveball popped up in foul ground outside third. Wernus comes over, reaches into the LSU dugout, makes a heck of a catch for the out. Now the runner's trying to score, nobody covered the plate. Nobody covered the plate, the runner scores from 30, tagged up. Not, not real good. Um, we missed cutoff man twice, um, got advanced runners twice. We didn't cover home plate on a pop-up, you know. So th those were three mistakes right there. And, and we knew that game three, if there was a game three for us, it might get, get a little crazy. And uh, so we had to make a decision. Do we, we want to go, you know, all out with this game, facing Nola, or do we, we, we kind of see how it goes a little bit and decide whether who to bring in there or, you know, if it doesn't go good, we'll, we'll try to save some guys for Friday. Two and two. Here's the pitch. Alberius swings, pops it up on the infield. This ought to do it. The shortstop Bragman backpedals onto the outfield grass, makes the catch, and the ball game's over. LSU's won at seven to two.